Let's look at verifying trigonometric identities. For example, let's verify this identity here. Now when verifying trigonometric identities, we can either work with one side until we get it equal to the other side, or work with both sides at the same time until we get them equal to one another. So in this case, the left-hand side looks a little bit more complicated, so let's start working with that side first. That is, this is equal to 1 minus cosine squared y divided by, and then foiling the denominator, we get 1 plus sine y minus sine y and then minus sine squared y. Now the outer and inner terms will cancel which leaves us with 1 minus cosine squared y divided by 1 minus sine squared y. Now let's recall the following Pythagorean identity. That sine squared y plus cosine squared y is equal to 1. Now if we subtract cosine squared y from both sides, what do we get? We have that sine squared y is equal to 1 minus cosine squared y, which is the numerator over here on the left, isn't it? And if we subtract sine squared y from both sides, what do we get? We have cosine squared y is equal to 1 minus sine squared y, which is the denominator over here on the left. So let's use those facts. That is, this is equal to sine squared y divided by cosine squared y, which is equal to tangent squared y, which is our right-hand side, and so we verified this identity. All right, let's look at another example. Let's verify this identity here. Now with this identity, let's work with both sides at the same time. Now recall that cosecant of x is equal to 1 divided by sine of x and also cotangent of x is equal to cosine of x divided by sine of x. So we'll use this on the left hand side and this on the right hand side. That is, this left-hand side is equal to 1 divided by sine x minus sine x. And the right-hand side is equal to cosine of x divided by sine x times cosine x. And now we can find a common denominator on the left-hand side. That is, this is equal to 1 minus sine squared x divided by sine x. And by the Pythagorean identity we just saw in the last example, the numerator here is equal to cosine squared x. But isn't that the same expression that we have on the right-hand side over here? Because on the right-hand side, this is equal to cosine x times cosine x, which is cosine squared x. Still divided by sine x. And therefore, these are equal, and we verify the identity. And these are a few examples of how we verify trigonometric identities. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.